Welcome back to the show. This is the Roxy Pro G Land, and we've got semi-final action getting underway now between last year's world champion, Carissa Moore, and the runner-up to the world title in 2021, Tatiana Weston. We're battling it out in the semi-final. Up higher on the rankings, and you feel like she is going to really start making a move, and, and she will do it with this result. Well, semi one getting underway with Carissa taking the first ride, and it's a big turn to get started. Huge combination there. That's going to feel good. Didn't really have a, a wave that kind of tapered off, but got the work done on the outside. Exactly the same. She's um, She had a bit more time off, but look at this, nice and tight in the pocket. Throwing spray straight back up in the pocket. When I when I think about Carissa oh. Moore, Rich, and, and even Stephanie Gilmore as well, when I think about offshore conditions, I, I just see their chances improving, the, you know, just how clean their rail surfing is. Yeah, uh, I was sort of getting excited about just the bottom turn that Carissa... Uh, uh, both of them got were here for that big swell at the start of the event and I think it's shown that they're, they're really dissecting the reef and working with Gally and uh, Ross obviously really paying off here. Well, Carissa up on her second ride. She had a six to kick things off and she plants a, a float on the end of this backup ride and it should be a reasonable number as well. You know, much for a big perfect wave, but uh, yeah, I think... We're going to see her go for the tube. Yeah, well, you think about these two competitors and their performances so far in the contest. Uh, just that in itself is starting to just shift a little bit of pressure. But here we go. Here's a replay of Tatiana. Gets up high, but just that barrel, just a little pinchy. But if you hunt it too hard, you might find yourself kind of getting down the line without doing a whole lot of work on the open face. Well, Tom knows better than anyone. Live action with Tati now. Driving up into the pocket. Nice hit to get started. And Tatiana surf with plenty of spark throughout the round so far. Has had some great turns, some dynamic finishes in critical sections. And she is working over this medium-sized set, taking it right through to the inside. And that is uh, better for the surfer representing Brazil. And she had a one on her first wave, and she's going to get herself right back in it. Carissa open with a six, has since backed it up with a 4.33. And I think she went down four places. But, yeah, look at her here, showing so much pizzazz this year. She's just coming back year after year, you know, doing these sort of turns, throwing her tail, getting more and more progressive, and, uh, yeah, just showing the judges something else. Loving that release element there on those uh, second and third turn, just... Uh at the end of the year competing in the Rip Curl WSL finals. No, it just seems like it's bound to happen. As we look at the replay here, this is a 7.5... On the score, great backhand surfing. Gee, she really... I think she would maybe went up top to ask some questions of, of that priority, though, and see if she couldn't get herself one of those fast-running waves. Here she goes, though, with 12 minutes to go. Tatiana whips through that first turn, has to get going now. This wave's starting to stretch out, and she hammers the section, but unsuccessfully. You see here, it's a beautiful wrap, great technique, upper body torque, and then uh, the lower body following here gets reset for this final turn. It's got the big layback hack in her mind, and uh, just uh, unfortunately the wave just cupped out under her. It wouldn't be counting out that if she needs to to do it in two, because there is every chance that Carissa may extend her lead if she can get rid of that six. But here we go. Oh, thinking about the tube lining it up, but that one just stretching out. Yeah, like it, they they do need more power and and more of that angle to really throw. Yeah, here goes Carissa using her priority here whipping that backhand turn off the top out of the pocket again just seems to be clicking into event winning form at the moment a little bit further out from carissa so she might get back to the takeoff and get priority and have another shot but the requirement is likely going to grow here there was a couple of big turns there but tatiana potentially on a wave that's going to stay open through the inside and she just gets knocked off it was reeling off pretty quick Tatiana Weston Webb gives it her all but falls short. Left chasing an 8.83. But Carissa Moore goes on the lookout for event win number 25 here at the Roxy Pro G Land. She is into the final as we gear up to introduce semi final number two. What a heat it's going to be. Bronte McCauley. She is going to take on Joanne DeFay, but there are the results for semi final number one. Stay with us. In a moment, Joe Tapel and Luke Egan will step in with Laura for the call.